Hi YouTube, Retro Starman915 here, and I'm recording using my new uh, GoPro Hero Sessions 5. And um, funny story, I was supposed to get it two days ago, and I'm so excited I was able to pick it up today. So two days ago, um, I got a note and realized it was a realized it was a signature that I signed. I work all morning, so I couldn't get to the signature, and. Um, when I tried to pick it up yesterday, couldn't get to the post office on time, super delayed on traffic, and uh, today I um, woke up really early to be able to like, uh, pick it up at the post office. So here, here, here it is, and here's my video. Um, I wanted to do a new um, segment. First I'll go over my uh, boxed Super Nintendo games, one of my all-time favorite systems. And then I'm going to go over my loose um, Super Nintendo games in uh, right after this segment. So without further ado, I'm going to start with my Super Nintendo box games. Uh, the first game I have is uh, Robocop Part 3. Doesn't have the manual, but I'm just happy to have it. I haven't played it yet. This is in no particular order. Super Return of the Jedi. Um, box and the game. Super Super Empire Strikes Back. Boxing game. Breath of Fire. Um, one of my all-time favorite RPG franchises, and this is complete in box. Awesome to add this to the collection. Star Fox complete. I mean, what's Nintendo without Star Fox? Um, really wish we had Star Fox 2, but um, they kind of scrapped it and went with Star Fox 64, which is just still an amazing game. An all-time classic. And the original Super Star Wars boxing game. Phantom 2040. Phalanx. One of the ultimate all-time um, favorite box art with the old man with the banjo and kazooie. And this game is about that starfighter in the background. It's a shoot 'em up So all-time box art that throws you off. <laughs> um, next, Actraiser, um, one of Quintet's first um, RPGs. Strat well, this would be two parts strategy, strategy RPG plus um, a sim and uh, the way they had those two combined is a really good mesh um, of a game and um, they kind of went away from the whole sim part in Actraiser 2 uh, which doesn't make Actraiser 2 any much better but it just makes Actraiser 1 just amazing it's a very challenging game by Quintet. Super Battle Tank 2, that is complete. I don't have much to say about this game. Final Fantasy 2, but it is one of my it was the first RPG that I was ever introduced to and it was on the Super Nintendo in 91. So um I just remember the day I was at my friend's house, they were playing this game probably the middle of the game um, and it just drew me into RPGs like all together I've never been so nostalgic about any game but this game my all probably my top two um, Final Fantasy RPGs the next is uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest it's complete as well um, what can I say about Mystic Quest is that when Final Fantasy 3 came out in 94 um, around Christmas time of 95, I couldn't afford the game. So I was just like, hey, you know, I see this, and it's Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and I'll pick it up. So I pick it up, and, um, but midway through the game, I'm still, I'm like, I want to say I'm nine years old. I get stuck. <laughs> I can't pass this part the life of me. But I finally managed to beat it, and, um, it was awesome to, um, pick this up again for this collection. Most of my Super Nintendo games, I've um, I've had to pick up again, so that was one of them. 
Next is Super Castlevania 4. And this is probably... Um, I've never really played it. I, I started on um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And that is by far my ultimate um, favorite Castlevania game. A lot of people will say Super Castlevania 4. And this is a classic staple for Super Nintendo. I need a playthrough of this and beat it. Um, just because it's so good. Um, awesome as collection that is complete. Kirby's Avalanche. I just recently picked this up in a lot. And I was so glad to see a Super Nintendo um, game in a lot, um, boxed, just great to have. NBA Jam TE, not much to say about the franchise, but it's a really good two-player, over-the-top basketball game. <laughs> that does, It's not reality, but it's just like when you're on fire, you know, the ball turns into a... Uh, a blaze and then um, the high arcing dunks and just classics um this game's a homebrew the next two games are homebrews but this one is Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes so the story about this is um, right after the events of Chrono Trigger and right before the uh, events of Chrono Cross so like a, a right before Radical Dreamers actually um, this ties in all those three games together, Crimson Echoes, and this should explain how um, the Frozen Flame came to be, all that scenario, and what happened right after the def defeated Lavos in Chrono Trigger. Next one is Earthbound Uncut. Uh, so, the Earthbound Uncut, I played some of it. Um, apparently, it... Um, this is the straight Japanese translation to English, so um, I know in a lot of Super Nintendo games, especially in the 90s, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of filter, just because a lot of the things that came out of Japan weren't necessarily good for the U.S., so they filtered a lot of um, a game, English, from Japanese, like, Final, for example, Final Fantasy IV, which is Final Fantasy II in the U.S., um, had a simple version, and a lot of it was to, because um, I guess they wanted they wanted to appeal to U.S. consumers, so they made the game simple, thinking you know Americans couldn't handle RPGs. Well, they were wrong. But Earth Down and Cut, um, awesome that to the collection. Next, I have Brain Lord. Um, it's another it's another Enix game, and I'm just another frustrating game, but it was. It's awesome to play. Um, I got about five hours in. I still gotta f go through and complete it. Strategy RPG. Um, who doesn't have enough balls? <laughs> this is Balls 3D. It's just a fighter game. Um, awesome. It's like a five dollar game, but it complete completed box. Why not? <laughs> Next is Revolution X, and I believe this is based on. Um, Steven Tyler's band. Yeah, I need to play through it. And based on Aerosmith, pretty much. <laughs> and I'm trying to go for a complete Super Nintendo box set. So, um, Eye of the Beholder. It's an advanced D -G -D -G Dungeons and Dragons game. Um, not very good. <laughs> but um, awesome to have complete in box. Donkey Kong Country 1. And this is complete. Um, old classic stable, uh, very hard game to complete, and, um, awesome game. <laughs> Super R-Type, um, this is not complete in box, it has the box and, and the game, but, um, just one of those classic shoot 'em ups for the Super Nintendo. Um, a lot of, um, I guess, I guess my only criticism of the game, it's super slow, a lot of slowdown. Um, a lot of games in the Super Nintendo shoot 'em up category are, you know, they're, the frame rates are a little slower and it, get, it runs slow, so um, I guess, you know, pace yourself and be ready for frustration. Still a fun game. <laughs> Next is Super WrestleMania. I don't, um, comment below how many people have a nostalgia factor to this game. I do. Um, Bonk, who else is in here? Come, and, uh, 
Nacho Man, Rand, Randy Sa- Savage, um, Hulk Hogan's in this game. Um, Classics Undertaker, look at that. Bam Bam, come on. Um, next is Aladdin, and I believe that's complete in box as well. Kind of rough, my roughest box, but um, I still think the Sega version is better just because you use a sword. In this game, you can only use your apples. <laughs> Fun game. How many people played this game? Killer Instinct. 30, 30 hit combo. Hyper combo. Killer combo. You know, just classic. Next, as you can see, I love my RPGs. Illusion of Guy or Illusion in Time and Pal. Um, probably top two quintet game that I love. Uh, yeah, this, this was probably the first quintet game I played too. This one was localized in 93, 94. And probably the main staple to the franchise because we didn't even get we didn't get Terra Enigma probably because the um, N64 was already getting a lot of steam and they probably just scrapped it. But Illusion of Gaia, play it if you haven't. Um, Secret of Evermore. So uh, Secret of Man, I didn't uh, introduce yet. Um, Secret of Mana was supposed to come out with uh, Sensu. I'm gonna blotch it. Secret of Mana 2, basically. And, um, well, US Square decided to release a different secret game. So they came out with Secret of Evermore. If you haven't played it, this is pretty fun. It, it references a lot of um, classic 50s, 60s um, type, like, um, you know, back in the day. And um, there's a lot of references to that. And I. I remember when I first bought it, I ended up beating it, but it was fun. It was relatively an adventure about fun. You got your boy, and you got um, man's best friend, which is the dog. And he's your best friend through the entire adventure. And it's a great game. Highly recommend it. Um, the next two are... So I, I picked this up recently. I got a good deal on it. Um, I got it complete. And this is Final Fantasy three, also known as Final Fantasy VI. In Japan, um, what can I say? One of the best Final Fantasies of all, all time. Um, I think two is my number one, but this would be this would be one a, one B. Um, Final Fantasy VI, great game. Um, they say, still the most characters you can play are be, um, that you had a selection with in one game. Probably about like sixteen to twenty characters. Um, Good story development on each character, awesome um, battle battle systems, unique um, villains, Kafka. You know that ama- you know you can hear Kafka a mile away and you hear ha 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 ha. Um, awesome, awesome epic game. And um, well, let's move along. Um, talked about this a little earlier. Secret of Mana. Uh, what can I say about this game? One of the, the first RPG where you can play as three people. You can actually get a multi-tap uh, plug it in and play up to the, the three characters in the game. And what was different about this game, it was still, it was an action RPG and, and it had role-playing elements where you can, um, you can like, you can um, level up your weapons um, and level up your magic um, just by using it over and over again. So, but it was this unique, had a great system, unique gameplay. Uh, visuals were great. Bosses were amazing. Great story overall. Um, what Super Nintendo Collection isn't great without Super Metroid. And this is complete. Uh, Super Metroid, what can I say about this game? Like, you really need, um, you know, there's a big map and you're kind of like, kind of like um, in space. You're not, you don't know where you're going. Kind of have to ch- a lot of trial and error. You get weapons, and um, they help you get to certain areas, and you need to look at the map, go through areas you haven't gone through before. Enemies are amazing. Weapons are great. Um, by the end of the game, you're a total badass. And if you want a challenge, you beat it under two hours and get um, the cool ending. Next is Wanderers of East 3. And I believe this is a port of the original Turbo Graphics game. I did not know that back in the day. Back in the day, I just I, my cousin had it, and I played through it, beat it. Um, 
at all Christians and what can you say about him? He's a total badass and his his boy Doggy. Gosh. Um I need to play through this game again. I probably my well, I guess my favorite East because this is the one I grew up on, right? Um great game. And um I guess if you um play the PSP version Oath of Philgania, that's pretty much a remake of this game. Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. Back in um 96 my um my dad bought me this game and it's still the original case and the manual. Um I don't think I have the map anymore, but this is my original game. I bought it in 96 when I was still new. Um by then the N64 had already come out, but um this game right here, if you um ever play it Visuals were great, battle system was great. Um, they really focused on puzzles in this game, and we were, I remember I was stuck in this one puzzle for a long time. Um, amazing game, and there's a to there's a there's a tower in the middle of the game where you get, try to get to basement ninety nine, and you start where um, you're level zero. There's a bunch of walkthroughs of this. Um, you start at level zero, and you pretty much each floor you build yourself up. And try not to die and get to level 99. Um, there's speedruns. You you should watch it. Amazing game. Um, play it. Play it. Emulate it. Great. Um, and the first game, Lufia from the Fortress of Doom. Um, I guess, like, the beginning of this game, um, in the very beginning of this game with Maximum, that was the end of Lufia 2. So, Lufia 2 is basically a prequel to Lufia 1. Um, but... Great RPG, play through it, amazing. Like, um, SNES had so many classics, and I'm hope I don't even have them all. I I want to collect a lot more. Um, the heavy hitters are just so much money now. I'm just glad to be able to get so far in this collection. Um, Super Mario RPG Level Legend of the Seven Stars. Um, this box I was able to find for twenty bucks. I had the original game. And the manual, I believe, had a buy as well. But this game, um, it's kind of a simple type RPG. Uh, you got Mario, and who who would have guessed you would be working with Bowser of all people? You know, Bowser and Princess Toad, you guys are all fighting the same team. It's like, when this came out, I was, I was super stoked. Um, and like, you know, Thousand Year Door, um, other Mario RPGs. Um, you know, Mario and Luigi Superstar, they all came from this game. Like, they followed that formula. This next game I got on my seventh birthday, and that is The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Um, before, you know, right after the original Zelda, like, like you know, you played Link 2. Link 2 is not like Link 1. And, um, you know, the very next rendition in the Super Nintendo, A Link to the Past, I have to say is my best Link game of all time, bar none. This game is amazing. Like, you know, you owe yourself a favor to play this game if you're a Zelda fan. You need to play and beat it. The very next game, um, Link's Awakening, is just as good. That's like 1B to this 1A. I mean, play through it, it just tells the legend ta legendary tale. The Lost Woods, like that set bars. This game set bars. This is this is one game that made this system really good. Okay, my um top two hit heavy hitter boxes. I will show the first one first. Um, I was lucky enough to own the cart as a kid, but um, but with the last year, I was able to complete it, and that is Chrono Trigger. Um. For a long time, I've been wanting to complete this game. This has both maps, the manual, and the box is in pretty decent co uh, condition. I paid, I paid an amount where people would be like, "Why are you paying that much for anything?" So, um, but for a steal, this is a close to two seventy, two hundred seventy-five dollar game. I paid close to like one fifty to complete this, but um, Chrono Trigger, epic. To add to the collection, one of the best RPGs of all time. The Super Nintendo had so many amazing epic RPGs, and this is one of them. Um, 
Okay. So without further ado, I will start the premise by saying I did have the Earth. I had Earth done as a kid, and um, when I was six years old, um, I rented it from Blockbuster. Um, on the day I returned it, I realized, um, like, you know, I thought I returned it. Four weeks later, I checked under my car seat and realized the game was there, and um, I never returned it. So, I kept that copy. Um, of course, Blockbuster went out of the business, but before that, you know, I'm sure all of you can relate. When you went to Best Buy 20 years ago, you'd see tons of these in the bargain bin. Tons of these. I mean, you could... They were selling them for $5. They were just throwing these away. And yet, 15 to 20 years later, Earthbound is a whopping six to $600 to $1,000. I mean, this is a decent-sized box. I There's kind of like... Um, indentations here you know like the box is kind of um wear and tear but um to have a complete box have a complete manual inside and complete scratch and sniffs yes i said scratch and sniffs are complete decent manual um pristine looking game i actually flipped my i flipped the game that was inside here to use and i put my original in there just to complete this box um this is my most prized game in this collection um, over here. So, okay. Awesome. Um, GoPro stop recording. Hey guys, um, those were, uh, yesterday I just showed you guys my boxed, uh, SNES stuff, and here's my loose SNES stuff. Start with, um, Mickey Mania, The Adventures of Mickey Mouse. Remember playing this game a lot as a kid. Uh, really fun memories, fun game. Mortal Kombat for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So unlike the the Sega Genesis version, which did have the blood, the Super Nintendo one was actually filtered out by Nintendo. Since Nintendo was honestly a family-oriented company, it was until Mortal Kombat 2 where blood was reintroduced. So that's where the franchise started on the Super Nintendo system. Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. Um, what can I say? But all three uh, Donkey Kong Country series uh, uh, were amazing and a staple on the Super Nintendo. Bubsy. Gradius 3. Goof Troop. Um, I kinda, cannot tell you how me and my cousin used to play this game as a kid. He used to own this cart. And I know there was a puzzle at the very last stage. There's only five big stages, but at the last level, um, it was an impossible puzzle to solve as a kid. And you know, I remember spending hours just trying to solve the puzzle. But we finally got it and we beat the game. Um, great to add it back to the collection. And that is Mint. Bulls versus Blazers. Back in the day when the, Bull, the, 90, uh, the 90s Chicago Bulls were amazing. They made a game. They made a game. Um, of course, it was the Portland Jailblazers. Pinball. NHL '95. And a lot of these classic sports games um, really um, hold up in terms of nostalgic factor. If you want to play, uh, play it against your friends. You realize how bad the graphics were back in the day, and compared to now, of course. And it's just fun playing it with um, people that don't even look like the characters. They're like little sprites. <laughs> Mario Paint. I do not have owned the big box for that. Vega Stakes. Zoop. NBA Live 96. Madden 96. Pac-Man 2, A New Adventure. Roger Clemens, MVP Baseball. Mortal Kombat 2. Bill M. Beers, Combat Basketball. Um, I remember my um, one of my best friends as a kid owned this game. That was amazing. NBA Jam. 
Now I do own one Super Famicom game, and that is Breath of Fire 2. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Uh, this is FIFA International Soccer. F Zero. Buster Bust Loose. And this game is fun. Um, if you want an underrated game, this uh, one platformer was really awesome, and I beat it. It's just, it's fun. A lot of these platformers were fun back in the day. Uh, C2. That's the sequel to Clay Fighters. Scalver 2097. Um, Scooby Doo Mysteries. Baseball Simulator 1000. Cybernator. Um, many a fan are uh, um, have this as a hidden gem. So. Um, definitely want to do a playthrough one of these days. And this would be Darius Twin. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And I like to um, get games that I had growing up, and um, Street Fighter 2 Turbo was one of them, so I was able to pick this up recently in the lot, which was awesome. Um, Jack Nicholas Golf. Smart Ball. Super Bomberman 2, The Wolverine, R.I.P. Hugh Jackman as The Wolverine, I believe the last one was his very last uh, appearance, Uniracers, The Big Hurt, Chuck Rock, Batman Forever, and this is a homebrew title, uh, Secret of Mana 2 or Seiku Sendetsu 3. Um, I honestly wish they had come out with the English port. But this is still, if you um, don't have the homebrew, get an emulator of it. It's really fun. Madden 94. Pilot Wings. Samurai Showdown. Lemmings. Super Mario World. And Super Mario Kart. Tournament Fighters for the Super NES. And the NES version is more expensive, of course. Um, Wale, Wale, Wale Country Club. If I mispronounce this, I'm sorry. You can correct me. It's great. Um, Thunder Spirits, which is actually Thunder Force... Um, Three, I believe, on the Genesis. I don't know why they changed the name for the Super Nintendo serialization. Ken Griffey Jr.'s winning run. Madden 96. Tint Star. Battle Clash. Pitfall. Tetris 2. Um, the Simpsons Bart's Nightmare, and this is a really bad. I didn't know it was chipped when I first bought it. Madden 97. Spectre. Super Adventure Island, classic. Um, X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. The Lion King. Wing Commander. Mech Warrior, um, Monday Night Football. Can't wait till football season again. NFL Club '96. T2 the arcade game. Super Mario All Stars. And I believe you saw the box, so this was the card that went with it. Final Fantasy III. A very rare game. Swat Cats. Another rare. Super Bonk. My zone for the Super Nintendo. Turtles in Time. Miguel Mansell's World Championship. Hook. 
Super G and G's. Super Punch Out. Super Smash TV. Magic Sword. UN Squadron, one of the best shooters of the Super Nintendo system. And Space Mega Force is the most, um, the best, but it's, yeah, it's as well as the most expensive. Uh, Super Strike Eagle. Toys. Um, Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends. Another copy of Mario Paint, so I guess I have two in here, so this is my extra. Um, NCAA Basketball. Sim City. My original copy of Street Fighter 2 when I was a kid. That was awesome. Um, MLBPA Baseball. I do have the manual debt. Uh, Jam It. Um, Saturday Night Slime Masters. Rival Turf. Super Tennis. Um, Super Godzilla. Harley's Humongous Adventure. Lagoon. The Jungle Book. Zombies Ate My Neighbors with the manual. Um, Mega Man X. The Legend of the Mystical Ninja, and this is a fun game. Um, Yoshi's Island, and I did pay $35 at the time for it. Probably could have found it cheaper. Um, and Maximum College, Car Carnage, this is a donation <laughs> from my cousin. Um, also, Super Base is loaded 3. Okay guys, so that's it. I showed, did show you my um, CIB boxes and my loose cards. Currently have around 130 Super Nintendo um, cards slash boxes in my collection. Um, I just recently picked up a big lot um, just today. I sorted through it and I will shoot up a video with all the content and what I got in it. Um, possibly over the weekend. And then what's coming up is on Sunday, I told you about this last video. I'm going to meet up with uh, Jeremiah Roque. He's been my buddy since high school. He has a band called Arc Impulse, and do, they do anything video game related, like, um, like for example, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy. And I explained this in the other video, but I will meet up with him on Sunday, and hopefully post that video sometime during the week. So um, this video is probably coming up either today or tomorrow, and I'm deciding whether or not I go garage selling since I did pick up a huge lot. But uh, like and subscribe below. Um, if you have any questions about my collection, any um, tips I can show you guys and give away, um, I'd be glad to, you know, help you guys out. And once again, I'm glad there's a vehicle such as YouTube where all us collectors can um, show what we have. And since we have mutual interest, and again, I want to emphasize this, this is not a brag show. I don't want to show my games and just to be like, haha, I have all this stuff. No, it's all about, like, you know, I'm a collector, I, I'm an, 